Hello everybody and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to export a custom character into Autodesk Maya. Let's get right to it. To another tutorial before we start can you kindly hit that subscribe and give this video a thumbs up I would definitely appreciate it it helps the YouTube algorithms the more that you share and like this video the more YouTube will refer this video to others to watch I really appreciate it so let's get started um, on the last tutorial I explained to you how to create a custom character and the icon character creator and this is what I did here. This is a um, custom um, character that I um, purchased this really nice outfit at the content store. Um, at the content store, like I've showed you before, you can um, purchase lots and lots of different outfits for, um, for your character and you can use whatever project that you need it for. So I highly recommend this. And one thing I like about the, uh, the icon system is that um, even a beginner as myself, or maybe you might be a beginner, um, it caters to um, everybody. You could be um, a beginner and you can still make great content and you could be a advanced user and still make great content. So, okay. Um, so what I did was um, I'm, um, um, I created this character. I put this um, the soft cloth um, outfit on this character. And, I, and something else I want to tell you that um, when you put animation on this character, it's gonna take a, it's gonna take a, um, some time to get this soft cloth physics to work um, properly on this um, on this character. Let me give you an example. Okay, let's go to um, let's go to iClone and um, I um, uh, exported my character. I exported this, the character into iClone and I put a, um, a motion on her, the catwalk from the Heidi motion. And um, I'm going to show you um, the example of the soft cloth. How does it work? See how it moves with the, um, with the character. It took a very long time to get this garment to actually um, fit the body <laughs> I mean it took a very long time so um, the only way how you can really manipulate this uh, the soft cloth physics is um, you, should, so you have to go into the collision shape you have to modify that and then you have to also do some modifying in the um, actual mesh in the character creator but uh, I'll explain it in another tutorial, but this I just want to show you how to export this. I'm, I'm, I want to explain to you how to um, export this character into your software, whatever you're using. It could be 3ds Max, it could be Maya, it could be Blender, whatever. So um, I just want to explain to you how to do that. Okay. Um, before you can even export this character or any other thing out of iClone, you have to have the 3D Exchange. <clears throat> the 3D Exchange pipeline, if you don't have this, then you won't be able to export anything out of um, the iClone uh, software. So, so what I did was um, I went to File, went to Export, and I used the Export Olympic. Um, for Maya because for some reason the soft cloth physics looks better when I export it in this format. But if you use it like a, any other software, you, um, you can use the uh, export in FBX and this menu will come up and then you can just scroll down here and it gives you all the different softwares that you could export your character into like 3ds Max, Unity, Unreal, Motion Builder, Blender, whatever it is that you're using. Okay, so what I did was I, um, I exported this, um, my character out of Icon into a folder, and let's open up all of this Maya, 
and I'm going to files and I'm going to import and I imported my character and all the um, soft cloth soft cloth physics exported with her I mean I imported all that with her so um, um, I'm going to show you an example the animation and everything um, came with the um, with the character so there she is Okay, and then I want to show you the final render. So I rendered 300 frames out, and I'm gonna show you the final render on how this looking. Follow that smile. Let me show you. Okay, so you just learned how to. Export a character out of um, iClone into whatever software you use them. Um, I hope you got something out this video. Um, like I said, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget, don't forget to like this video. Um, I'm new on YouTube, so um, the more I keep doing videos, the more better I'm becoming. And uh, forgive me for my raspy voice. I explained to you that. Um, a medical issue um, paralyzed my vocal cord and I, let, I lost maybe like 40% of the hearing. Um, I can't hear anything out of this ear, so. Um, but I'm not gonna let that stop me. I'm gonna still continue to make good content and I hope you get something out of it. Okay, have a good day. God bless, thank you for watching.